The Hose Mountains expedition is an intrepid adventure to the remote and still little explored Hose Mountains in Sarawak, Borneo. Here, we will see spectacular endemic pitcher plants, and then we'll travel to Mount Trismadi to see Nepenthes macrophylla and Nepenthes loei. And lastly, we will go to Mount Api to see Nepenthes bicalcarata, Nepenthes phasiliana, and the spectacular limestone pinnacles. The expedition starts in the small town of Cebu in Sarawak, Malaysian Borneo. We begin the expedition in river boats, and after loading up, we head deep into the interior of the jungle. After several hours motoring inland through beautiful forest, we reach the remote town of Kapit. Here, we transfer into 4x4 vehicles to drive along trails towards the little explored Ho's mountain range. We reach rarely accessed montane clown forest, home to an incredible diversity of carnivorous Nepenthes pitcher plants, including Nepenthes glandulifera and Nepenthes appendiculata, both of which occur nowhere else on Earth. We also see the flamboyant but really beautiful Nepenthes platycyla and also the very little known Nepenthes ephippiata. Here and there, there are also spectacular stands of Nepenthes vichii. The cloud forest is rich with orchids. And with luck, we might also see some of the animal inhabitants of the Hose Mountains, including trilobite beetles, beautiful reptiles, many tropical frogs, and spectacular hornbills. On returning back to Cebu, we visit a traditional food market to save a delicious local cuisine. And, for the brave, something a little more exotic. We then transfer by flight to Saba to visit our next mountain, Mount Trismadi. We trek out into the forest and then begin the climb. Once again, seeing many beautiful orchids and the carnivorous pitcher plants, Nepenthes reinwartiana and Nepenthes fusca. And we camp that evening on the slopes of the mountain for the night. For those that want to, an early start around the campfire reveals unforgettable sunrise views. Slowly, the epic scale of Borneo's wilderness is revealed in the early morning light. We then return to climbing and descend up into some of the most beautiful and pristine mossy cloud forest anywhere in the world. This is home to the stunning Nepenthes macrophylla, with its incredible teeth that are reminiscent of Nepenthes edwardsiana. And the diminutive but beautiful Nepenthes tentaculata. The views from the summit are simply breathtaking, especially when the clouds roll in. And around the summit area, we find Nepenthes loei, which are so plentiful that they dangle right over the path. This remarkable species has evolved pitchers in the form of toilets. And amazingly, they're actually used as such by tree shrews and birds. If we're lucky, we may find a few specimens of the incredibly beautiful and very rare hybrid Nepenthes trismardiensis. And after a full day of exploring, 
it's then time to descend and return back to the lowlands. A short flight then takes us to the Mulu National Park, our next destination. Here, we transfer into canoes and travel deep into the jungle. Along the way, we stop to visit vast limestone cliffs and explore inside the huge caverns to see spectacular stalactite columns and vast numbers of bats that are so plentiful, swarms of them resemble smoke. We often see gorgeous Rajah Brooks birdwing butterflies, one of the most beautiful butterflies in the whole world. And then, the following day, we ascend very carefully up a steep 1.8 kilometre trail, along which we find a wide diversity of orchid taxa. and the colourful pitcher plant, the Penthes Faisiliana. At the top of the trail, we finally see a spectacular view of the blade-like limestone pinnacles. Sharp, towering spikes of rock that tower over the rainforest. We have lunch at the top, and then we begin the descent, down the same route along which, if we're lucky, we might even see giant amorphophallus blooms that can be up to five feet tall. When we finally get back down to the lowlands, the expedition is concluded. However, for those hungering for more jungle adventures, an optional add-on can be organized to climb Mount Mulu. Here, on the summit of this beautiful mountain, grow stands of the spectacular Nepenthes muluensis and beautiful Nepenthes loei plants, as well as a cloud forest dripping with orchids. And also from the summit, we can see some of the most beautiful views in all of Borneo. To secure a place on this expedition, or to learn more, about our many different eco-friendly trips to other amazing destinations, please visit our website.